Hi there, sign of Cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's a next 48 hour reading. And I hope you guys are doing really good today. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get right into these energies as I open up for your angels, your spirit team, my spirit team, kind of a collaboration here. Uh, so we can get messages here that's for your highest good, always. And let's keep going on then. Cancer, messages for Cancer. Using the Kipper deck first. Cancer, I have a main female card that is in the reverse. So, okay, usually when my character cards are in the reverse, if you're having an issue with somebody, then it might be, that might be representing this person or somebody that is just pr providing something that's making something harder for you with toil and labor on the bottom. Hmm. Somebody's making something harder for you. Okay, so... <laughs> yep. And toil and labor are here. We have the thief card on the bottom of the deck. Could be like somebody accusing someone of taking something from them. Or... <clears throat> dishonesty i don't know we're we're gonna get um we're gonna get a breakthrough reading because i think that is what's probably needed we're gonna use dreams of gaia deck so let's see spirit what do we have so the breakthrough pyramid spread is what i'm gonna be pulling and it is a six card spread the first spot is the pattern that you keep running into with this archetype i'm gonna say with the main female archetype um there's challenge uh it's gonna be the second spot and then you'll have the third spot the top of the pyramid that will be your breakthrough card with in regards to this main female and whatever kind of toil and labor you're having to go through uh i also have a card that represents uh the spot of your power your outcome card, and then the sixth spot will be for the advice from spirit. All right, so how we're gonna do this, I'm not gonna take jumpers, I'm just gonna pull out all six spots. It was a really weird cut. <laughs> but so one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's roughly supposed to look like that. Bottom of the deck is the counselor in reverse. Mm, somebody needs to counsel a situation or be able to guide or something. Now, oh, what I'm getting here is a situation where somebody has something to offer, but I'm not so sure that you're considering this to offer as being genuine. So something is essentially running in place, providing harder work and still something's not getting done. So the pattern is you know, emotions. Uh, this kind of like the sun uh, energy, it, it matches up a little bit with it. But of course, we know what emotions are. And this is about balancing those. So it, it's going to be like that this is possibly a pattern of coming to something that's, you know, always very emotional um, <clears throat> or something coming to light. Maybe that you didn't know before. What's the challenge? The journey the journey. <laughs> so when I see this, I, I have a feeling, okay, so you could go this way or that way. We have a light path. We have a dark path here. I have the number 17. You also have the star energy associated with whatever path you decide. But I feel like making a decision in this journey, it was, we're going to go based on the cards as far as to read your messages. And I really think that it has, there's a dragonfly that I'm seeing there is two paths one is lit up with the sunlight and then the other path is lit up with the stars 
the starlight. So what is the breakthrough here? The king of water. Okay. Okay. So you're being told that if, if you felt like it was, uh, your job to lead others, be compassionate towards maybe a family person, um, your breakthrough is yes, you are that person <laughs> and your emotions they're they're very well balanced at this stage they should be well balanced um and they are so you're master over mood and you have the ability to either make a decision out of hate or make a decision out of love and diplomacy and i feel like the breakthrough is the love and, and diplomacy and um and you being able to display emotional balance, like a really extreme emotionally balanced. So that's the breakthrough. Trying to do the most loving thing possible. I see the seahorse out of made out of the seaweed on that card also. Could have to do with family, family things, family issues. Your power is that you've had a lot of loss. You've had a lot of loss. You've had a lot of sadness. You have the five of cups. You don't, you do know what it's like to experience life and, and not get everything you wanted or not be completely happy with every decision that we've made. Um, you give yourself appropriate time to mourn. And, and that's kind of what's coming to me is like the light is shining down on this card, on this person on, in the card. And these beautiful fish, they kind of look like goldfish, um, kind of lucky looking. They're just watching how gently this energy is, is um, processing some rather tough emotions. So your ability to know how to mourn and to even know that there's timing to these things that is completely individual um, separate, it's, you know, to your path alone. All right. <clears throat> the outcome is the 10 of Pentacle. I, it's in the reverse, but I'm going to put it like this so that if you're watching the video, then you can see the, the picture. So the reason why I say we're going to read it though in the reverse is because that means that these are, there are some patterns in your established connections that need changing or fixing the old way of doing something simply isn't going to work anymore in fact an old way of doing something might be what is also causing some kind of toil and labor or making it harder for you king of air look at these kings you know what to do this is not a question about action because you know what to do you've got all the kings you have the king of air as in your advice and they're asking you to remain disciplined there's a big emphasis on using logic tapping into that mind space you have the trinity here you've got the three number threes you've got you've got a lot of power you notice the antlers in both <clears throat> um you're focused and determined with the eagle the king of air is somebody that's like, okay, there's no messing around when it comes to some things. When it comes to family issues, uh, especially with when where wealth is concerned or prosperity. Um, things have to be fixed, right? I just get the, I get the feeling like whatever it is that your actions are. The journey is is on your way to kind of like revolutionize things for your already established connections here and and something's going to be done a little bit different in regards to your finances uh, and and the connections with like for example you can't help everyone like that's just coming to my mind is you can't help everyone right like to love to but you can't help everyone and part of somebody else's journey might be to learn how to help themselves you know what I mean so 
so I think that you probably in your outcome are gonna have people coming to you most likely this main female in the reverse needing or wanting assistance or help um, it would be up to you but with it in the reverse I feel like something's more 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 trouble than it's worth I guess the um, not the person necessarily but just I, I get antics somebody's antics And it could be that you get yourself in his position where you're the balanced one <laughs> emotionally. And then you got somebody over here that's very off balance. And so maybe this is a pattern. So you do have to analyze, like, why do I keep uh, picking or running into energies that are so completely different than my balanced self, right? All right, so tell me about the pattern with the emotions, sun energy, Leo energy. Woo, the only one that's burnt on the edge, too. I don't know if you can see that. The five of pentacles, feel it, it, it burned on a candle. It's the only one. Um, the five of pentacles is about being um, kind of out in the cold, feeling like an outsider. It can be living in lack mentality me something like that like um, really hanging on to some kind of lack mentality the pattern can be that you end up feeling isolated because your emotions are in check or balanced and somebody else's are it might be that this is something that happens every time I don't know I'm not getting like that it's hilarious or funny but but that if you're feeling out of place here, there's there's like this great happiness and this emotional balance. So you've got the contrast. So you've got the contrast. These are struggles. These are temporary hardships. It could be like a pattern of coming to something uh, worried about somebody's health or something like that too. You have Taurus energy. Give us um, more information. Hierophant in the reverse. It has to do with your commitments, like um, your high level commitments. When they break up, if they break up, they're why me point out that you have 555 here, almost like in a trine, if you think about it. Um, so, 555, major change. It's like a pattern of coming back to of choosing a relationship, choosing to make a really big commitment, and then you being out in the cold, or you feeling like an outsider with whoever this is that you were in a commitment with. This can be a contract too, that's kind of like dissolving. <clears throat> so this could be really emotional just in general, when the sunlight energy comes out and says, okay, this is what's not working. And then you realize that, oh, there's something that's repeating here. Tell me about the journey. I have the star, the journey. Another five, guys. Ooh, hold on to your seatbelts or buckle your seatbelts. This is going to be a wild ride. Be careful when you turn around. You've got two cups that are on your cape. And in, interesting, these two people are both wearing capes on the cards. Um, that's interesting. That really is interesting. Because the hood is up. It's almost like trying to, um, a challenge, trying to go somewhere without being recognized or noticed because you just want time to yourself to mourn a situation or process these heavy emotions. Hmm. Heavy. Heavy, but like say, I mean, you're the one that knows, you're the person with the plan. Tell me about the uh, King of Water, the breakthrough. Tell me about the King of Water breakthrough. Scorpio energy is the transformation. 
of being like master over your emotions. Oh, and it's bringing in, ta-da, safety, security, a big gift from the universe, maybe in the sum of like a lump sum of money. It's a gift. You can, um, this is a pathway that when you walk down it, you're going to be very prosperous and flourish. It's really nice. Ace of Pentacles. That's really, really nice. This is this is your breakthrough. Is that your breakthrough is that you want to be this loving, balanced person that ends up leading others in a way in love, but down a path where everybody can be very prosperous. Um, the safety, security is really important. It's part of the breakthrough. So if there's an element that didn't make you feel safe or secure or protected, that's being highlighted. And so your breakthrough is kind of to get back to this um, loving, the pa get, getting back to the right path. Uh, I don't know if something happened with your path, but getting, right, getting back to the right path is going to depend too on what, which one you choose. Ace of Pentacles. Whew. All right. Purest of um, the element because nothing's really been added to it yet. So it can be anything. This can be anything. This can be long-term protection, happiness, and all, all that stuff. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Another one. Fixing some issues from long ago. I'm going to put these back. I am going to check out these two. I have the... Leo strength card eight and then I have the queen of swords both of them kind of like this and then the ten of pentacle and the reverse came out again so part of your solution is you gotta lovingly draw your boundaries lovingly say no sometimes um having the self-confidence to know that it's not necessarily you why some things aren't balanced sometimes you just it feels like you're sometimes you're just really a big giver um the queen of swords also knows what they have to cut out of their life in order to stay on that goal so if it if it's not lined up with always new beginnings and security prosperity prosper love um, if it's not going in that direction, then these energies, um, this is part of your breakthrough too. So you might have to cut something out is what I'm saying. Um, Libra, Leo. Libra, Leo. Libra, Leo, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. And then your power card, the five of cups. Also your challenge, but your power is that You've been there, done that. You have been through some pretty sad things. So in a way, you can relate. That might be what it is. And another five. Five of swords in the reverse. You can relate, but listen, you will not get drawn into somebody else's drama and conflict. Your emotions are too balanced, and you're too focused on goals and uh, soul purpose and things like that to get drug into somebody's fight. Five, 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 five. Wow. Five fives, guys. Five fives. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Heavy reading. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Tell me how. Um, so, the, like I said, that feels like it's somebody coming up to you saying, hey, can, I, can you help me? Can you help me? And this would be a no. <laughs> no. No, um, a no because there's an, an issue with you not getting the complete truth from a person about, I don't know, why they need something or why something is being mismanaged, why something is working seemingly against instead of with. And it's because either not all the information is there or you're not getting the whole truth. There is an awareness that comes with this about what needs to change within the, um, the structure of how it's always done, been done in the past. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. The Six of Cups. Somebody's going to be parting ways. 
parting ways because like I said, you're not getting the whole story. Doesn't mean you don't know the whole story though, but you're not getting it. You would have at least expected that. All right, so these are some kind of big connections that are parting ways because you've got to maintain focused on doing the diplomatic thing and the thing that's good for all. Tell me about the king of air, Aquarius energy, your advice. All the action is going to be disciplined, orderly, a fresh new star, and you're never giving up. <laughs> never giving up. You're the wounded soldier. You will le learn to live and love again because you never give up. Does not mean you have to keep on continuing with whatever energy is dysfunctional for you. But this is like being past the point of over it with the Four of Cups. It's in the reverse. There's a need for a fresh new start for you. And how do we get that? By being really super focused and disciplined. Yep. All right. Anything else? And there's your fresh new start. <laughs> it's the full doing something a different way and spirit is saying with this little four of swords in the reverse poking out that this is something you're not wanting to think about too much but but it's here um a new investment a new way to invest something like that okay cancers if you need a private reading and you felt like that worked for you it is just saying with no g oracle tarot.com and you can get a private reading with me. All right, so ask your angels. We're going to pull to close out your reading. Opportunity, and there it is. Opportunity, just like this big Ace of Pentacles up here. Opportunity. It's raining money in this card, and it's raining. <laughs> Look. Yes, yes, that's a big yes. And the balance, yep, you're doing it. Not easy, but you're doing it. All right, so sending you love and light. Bye-bye.